Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. As we begin a new week, we want to welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are going through the book of Psalms, and right now we are at Psalm 10. And you may remember last week I said Psalm 9 and Psalm 10 technically go together. They are, should have not been a chapter division and it's uh, written by david and uh, in psalm 10 three times david is asking the question why and uh, that's a question that you and i ask very often as we face uh, the challenges of life today we are reading verses 12 to 15 of psalm 10. O lord arise Oh God, crush them. Uh, the psalmist had been talking about the enemies, the enemies of God. And uh, he is now asking the Lord uh, to get up and act. It is time for you, Lord, to act. God, you seem to be so inactive, but now you've got to do something. Crush them. And uh, the psalmist uh, is telling the Lord, don't forget the poor or anyone else in need. There are so many instructions in the Old Testament about God's care for the poor and the needy. And uh, the psalmist is reminding the Lord of those instructions, uh, those, uh, the, the details of uh, caring for the poor and the needy. The Lord Jesus Christ Himself became poor for our sakes. Isn't that amazing? And so he understands poverty. He understands uh, what it uh, means to go uh, without at times uh, the basic necessities of life. And the Psalmist says that uh, God uh, is to care uh, for the poor and the needy. And then comes this why question, the third time in verse 13. Why do you let the wicked get away with this contempt for God? God, here are the wicked who are mocking you, openly mocking you. They are willfully, deliberately mocking you. They are laughing at you. And God, why are you letting them get away with that? For they think that God will never call them to account. <laughs> they think that uh, God is not going to bring them to judgment one day and that they have to give an account uh, for all their mockery. Lord, you see what they are doing. Yes, God sees. You have noted each evil act. Uh, that's a very encouraging statement for us. God keeps the score on evil. God takes note of each evil act that is seen or unseen. You know what trouble and grief they have caused. Yes, God sees the tears that have been shed because of these wicked people. Now punish them. Lord, the time is ripe. You've got to act. You've got to deal with them. You've got to punish them. You've got to crush them. Oh Lord, the poor man trusts himself to you. Yes, the poor man has no other resource other than the Lord. And uh, the Lord is not going to fail him. And then comes this very beautiful title given to God. You are known as the helper of the helpless. I hope that statement will bring great comfort to you today. Our God is the helper of the helpless. And when you and I find ourselves in situations, we have no one else to turn to. We are destitute. We are helpless. We don't know what to do. Our God comes through for us. He is the helper of the helpless. And then again, uh, David breaks out into this prayer, uh, asking God uh, to deal with the wicked. Break the arms of the wicked men. That's another way of saying render them important. Uh, may their power be taken away from them. May they become helpless. Go after them until the last of them is destroyed. Lord, pursue them, 
chase them <laughs> wherever they may try to hide, pull them out of that uh, hiding hole and deal drastically with them. Not one of them should escape. So you can see a very passionate prayer on the part of David, asking God to deal with the enemy. And uh, that's something that we can pray today. Uh, there are so many uh, enemies that we had to contend with and uh, that God would deal with the enemy, that not one of them would escape, that God would crush them, that God would punish them, that God would bring them to account. But then for us who are poor, who are needy, who are helpless, our God is the helper of the helpless. Come to him with your destitution, with your need, present it to him and he will take care of whatever you face today. May the Lord bless you as you seek to live for him this day. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.